Well hello YouTube, um, I'm just doing an update on my um, my computer, my Antec 900, it's um, due for a couple of mods, um, if you've seen the pre previous video of um, Antec 900 mods 1080p, you'll see that's um, all still pictures, and I just thought I'd try out the camera uh, and see how it goes. Um, there's, I've already done the video and realised that I'm not very good uh, explaining too much as I'm going along um, while I'm doing the bits and pieces that I'm doing on my computer. So I thought I'd do this little pre-video uh, of um, the bits and pieces that I've used during the mods um, and some of the tools that I used as well. Um, basically the mods I'm going to do are install some cold cathode lights. Um, I wanted to reroute an 8 pin cable that was running across my power supply uh, in front of the motherboard. I want to route that round the back um, and while I've got to take everything apart I'm going to give it a clean and remove the, um, remove the heat sink and replace the tin. So Right, just going through some of the bits and pieces that I've used. Um, I do a little bit of um, sort of cable management in the video and I use some various um, sleeving. Now, you can get all different sizes of sleeving. It just tidies up your cables, makes, you, makes the inside of your PC look a lot better. Um, you just slip these over the cables that you want to hide um, and as you can see if you push it together it expands so you can get normally over the heads of plugs and stuff you can actually fit them through uh, and then once it's on you can pull it tight uh, and then either shrink wrap the ends or just put a small cable tie. Now you can get all different size shrink wrap as well this is the shrink wrap you can just cut that to normally just a, a small piece at the end, um, slip that over and then heat it up and then that will give you a, a nice clean terminal. You can get that in different sizes as well. I've got some 5mm here and that's the 7mm um, and it gets a lot bigger. Um, on the back of the computer with the cable management um, to keep the cables tidy, I use some clips which are uh, self adhesive, just stick on the back, and then you can put your cable ties through them. All these little bits and pieces I've got, I actually bought from uh, Maplins. Um, they're handy because they're around the corner to me. Sometimes they're quite a bit more expensive than you would be able to buy the bits on the net, but if they're around the corner, it saves time um, and hassle. Uh, also, if you're not too sure of what you're buying, if you're a novice at doing any mods, um, it's handy to pop into Maplins because um, it's a big shop. They've normally got at least one expert in there that you can talk to and you can get advice from as well. So you know you're not buying the wrong bits. So that's the cable ties. Um, now the I also bought some Tim Clean, which is to uh, clean the CPU heat sinks. Um, I've got some Chill Factor from Thermal Right. This come with my Thermal Right uh, 120 uh, Extreme, um, also known as the True. Various tools I've got for cleaning, it's handy to have a little brush. Um, a definite is a Phillips screwdriver. A normal screwdriver will come in handy for various other bits. Um, side cutters. Uh, I've got wire strippers, I don't actually use these as wire strippers, I, I normally tend to use the, uh, the side cutters, these ones, just for stripping cables. But what I do use these for is the little crimp parts here, for crimping little terminals, but if you're installing switches, 
you normally get spade connectors which come in various sizes and you'd literally push the end of the cable into the end and then simply put that in there and crimp it and it will just crush it and hold it in place and then chuck them on the floor um, a set of craft knives come in handy electrical tape is always handy scissors for cutting your sleeving um, and a soldering iron some solder um, for doing any soldering that you need to do and a camera is always handy just to take some shots along the way so you can refer back to them now the, the cathodes that I installed actually come, it was a kit, um, come with everything you need um, and also come with this switch that you would put in the back um, plate of your computer uh, to switch the lights on and off. Now this would mean you'd have in cables draped in across out the back uh, inside the computer which I don't really like. Um, I've custom made um, a switch in there which I've put in the front panel um, so I've cut this off uh, and that's about it really the, oh, the lights come with some velcro pads which um, this was actually for the box which I didn't use I didn't need so they actually come with smaller ones that you uh, fix the small the cathodes uh, in the in position, so that's that. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you'll probably see how it makes sense um, why I've sort of try and talk through a little bit of what's what because I don't explain too much in the video, um, but you do get a, an idea of what's going on. So I hope you enjoy the mods. Any questions? Please comment. Right, as I was saying, there's this cable here that I'm not happy with. It's the 8 pin that goes up to the mother, the mother board up here. Um, so I'm going to route that round the back, taking it through this hole. Spin it round. See, I've done a fairly tiny bit of um, cable management. custom mod I did here and there's four switches they're three-way switches and they basically control the stock fans which are three speed which comes standard with the Entec 900 what I'm going to do is put some lights um, some cold cathodes probably one here and one across the bottom um, and put in another switch here which will control those lights Right, so basically I want to give it a good clean, so I'm going to flip it on its side. Now, the first thing I want to do is remove the graphics card. Basically everything's coming out. Um, I've already removed the two screws, which hold it in place. Remove the PCIe six pin cables. And there's a clip at the bottom, which you just slightly release and pull out. And then you should be able to pull up and remove the card. That's the HD4870. Give that a clean. Then the next thing to do is unplug everything from the motherboard. So you've got your 24 pin. A little 
flip it aside. That's removed. Now you have your connections for your front panel uh, and USBs and um, switches and things like that. Now I recommend when doing this, although I'm, I'm making a video of it, I don't really want to go back on the video to check everything, but if you've never done this before and you remove it, you're dismantling a computer, it's a good idea to change your batteries in your camera because uh, they've run out. Well, hello again. <coughs> I couldn't, uh, my batteries are on charge, so I'm going to take a pic with my iPhone. Just that to do um, the whole PC if you've never done this type of thing before. Take pictures of all the connections before you dismantle it so you've got something to refer to when you're putting it back together. Right, so we've got that, that. There's the, I've got an 8 pin feeding my motherboard here. Sometimes that'll be a 4 pin on some motherboards. Then for my cooler, and the setter for your hard drives and your DVD uh, recorder or whatever, and your USB. front panel, connectors, and sound is right down in this corner. And once everything's disconnected, you can then start to unscrew it. And there you Normally a Phillips screwdriver or posi drive and there's three, six, at least nine screws I can see. Now they're dotted about, you'll have to look for them on your motherboard and I'll take these off and I'll get back to you. Right then, I've removed the screws and now I'm going to attempt to take the motherboard out. What I didn't mention before is <coughs> When, before diving in with your hands into the PC and touching any of the components, plug in your computer into the power supply, switch the power supply off. This will give an earth connection. Now, before you dive in, touch anything metal on the sides and this should earth you. This should reduce the um, risk of static electricity damaging any of the components while you're diving in with your hands. So I've done that. What I'm going to do now is try and remove the motherboard. There was nine screws holding it in. I'm just going to be as gentle as I can. Something I haven't unplugged here. Just the USB. And there you have it. So there's the motherboard out. And we can pop this aside for the moment and from there I will do something else. <laughs> 